What's going on guys, Billy here, and today I've got a special video for you. I'm going to be doing a room slash setup tour as part of my 1,000 subscriber milestone video. I really can't thank you guys enough. It's been a hell of a ride going from zero to 1,000 subscribers, and I really can't wait to see what's in the future for this channel. So first of all, as you guys can hear, this scratching, this is my cat Puffles. He's an absolute idiot, and he loves bags, uh, so sorry about that scratching. But anyway, getting into the room, pretty, pretty standard stuff. Uh, so let's see, I guess we'll start from the left and work our way to the right. So first off, I mean, that's just a closet. Pretty empty because all my clothes are at school. Right here, we've got a heater and an air purifier. The air purifier is an absolute lifesaver when you have cats. My mom has one like every single room of the house. They're great. Now moving over here, this TV stand is pretty overkill. Uh, let's see, I have like four things on here. I've got the Apple TV, of course. I've got the um, clock just to let me know. Let me know at the time. doesn't really do anything else. Down here, I've got the cable box as well as a... Uh, Logitech Harmony receiver. This is for my universal remote control. I'll get into that a little bit later. And then up here, I've got a Samsung TV. This again is really nothing special. It's 1080p, no 4K, no nothing crazy like that. But I love how slim it is. So I'll try to find this on Amazon, and I will uh, put the link down in the description for you guys, as well as all the other important products that are in this video. Now over here, I've got some shoes. I'm really not a big shoe guy. I have like one of everything, like nice shoes for when I'm trying to dress nice my everyday shoes and my work shoes. I'm not, again, I'm not a big sneaker guy. I pretty much go in, I have one pair and I try to find something that looks nice. These used to be white, they're pretty gray now. I beat the shit out of them. So definitely gonna look for some new ones soon. Now moving over here onto my nightstand. Let's see, on top of here, I've got the Logitech remote as I told you guys about. It, this thing is cool because I can control like everything in my house. I can control, uh, you know, my Hue lights. I can control um, the Xbox. I can control my TV, everything from this remote. It's absolutely awesome. This right here, Apple TV remote, of course. A house phone, I don't even use this. I don't know why it's here. A coaster, because I don't, I don't want to mess up this nice wood, you know? Uh, right here is an Apple Watch charger, of course, pretty standard. I was looking to get a stand for this, so I got to uh, do some research and find a good stand. And this right here is probably the greatest thing, the greatest thing ever, the greatest thing in my room, is a heated blanket. This is the controller. You can turn it on high, all the way down. You know, it's got like 10 settings. And I guess you can't really see it, but this thing, like, it's this thing right here. It's got the wires in it. And oh my god, it is toasty at night. If you live somewhere that's cold, I know that it's not super cold where I live. But honestly, that thing is a lifesaver when it's cold out. Now up here, as you can see, I have this JBL Extreme. I did a, a review on this. It's a great Bluetooth speaker. This is good for listening in bed or something like that. But I do carry this around to like the shower or anywhere I'm trying to listen to music. Uh, cool thing about this actually bed is you can turn on lights up here, which is kind of cool. And then also you have some uh, wires running through there. So a nice long charger and it'll fit right on top of the bed, which is cool. Whenever you're laying in bed, now moving over towards here, this is pretty much a dresser, nothing all that, uh, nothing all that complicated. This right here is my little change collection. I always try to save it up to about halfway and then I cash it in and buy something stupid with it because I really don't, um, I really can't, you know, get yelled at for buying something with change. This right here is pretty much like a junk drawer, uh, junk, I don't even know what's called, it's a junk divider. I pretty much throw anything that's weird in there. Right here, I got this little dude. I think my girlfriend won that for me. And that's from my uh, university where I go to. This thing is actually awesome because you can, if you pour like cold water in here, it turns red. I don't know how they do it. Of course, got the mirror. Um, over here, just some other cool stuff. I got this at camping. This thing is awesome. Um, I think it was for, um, for Veterans Day because I think we went during Veterans Day. And this thing is just absolutely awesome. So that's cool. I think it was like, I don't even know how much it was, but the thing is really awesome. It caught my eye as soon as I walked into the shop. Uh, this right here is a mini fridge. A lot of my friends think that I'm like crazy for having a mini fridge, but I actually got this because I tore my ACL and my dad bought it for me because I, could like, I couldn't hobble up and down the steps all the time to get drinks. So he bought me one of these and I've had one ever since. It's awesome. Of course, I got a printer. This thing is actually a huge piece of shit. I really cannot find a good printer ever. Like every printer always breaks on me, even my dad. I really cannot find a good printer, so HP absolutely sucks, even though they're like the best printer maker. Over here, I've got like a junk table. This is like some extra camera gear for this camera right here. And in fact, I don't even use this camera to record. I'm recording on my iPhone. The way that I make my videos is, let's say I set it up and I keep my iPhone like propped on there to make the video. I don't even use this camera. It's kind of like a stand. That thing is actually, I'm, I'm really unimpressed with that video quality. So I'm trying to sell that. If anybody wants it, let me know. <laughs> I've got it sold on eBay. Uh, right here is some just like, you know, stuff for that camera, chargers, different batteries, uh, different posters and stuff. And right there is my cat's bed, even though he doesn't even lay in it. He pretty much just lays on bags. Uh, so that's pretty much all for the boring stuff. There's my room. Again, pretty cool. Some pretty cool stuff. Ooh, 
something I forgot to point out. That's my drone right there. As you guys know, posting all those videos of the drone, that's uh, that's where I store it. I need to find a better spot to put it. Uh, so I guess I'll find one soon. And now for the moment of truth that you all have been waiting for, the setup. <laughs> this is probably the coolest thing of my room. It took me a while to finally put all this together, and I know that it's nothing crazy. Um, but you know, you guys have probably even seen it already in a bunch of my videos, just because I do all my videos right here, but I'm gonna go through in depth about everything in this setup for you guys. Now before I start showing you guys the setup, I wanna point out this closet real quick. It actually has really nothing special in it. As you can see, it's just like paperwork, files, just books, everything like that. On the top shelf right here, I have my Mavic as well as the Osmo Mobile. Uh, but anyway, I have a video idea for this closet and I think that it's going to be awesome. I'm not going to tell you guys anything about it. I want it to be a surprise and I don't think it's going to come within the next month. I would say maybe around February-ish I'll get started on it. So you guys will see that within the upcoming future. Now moving over to the desk, I guess, uh, you know, again, this is everything. I'll start from the left and work my way to the right. Right over here is my little docking station for my Mac. When I plug it into the monitor, of course I have the Mac. I have my portable SanDisk external drive. And then over here I have the HDMI cord plugging into the monitor as well as the USB hub, which I'll show you guys in a little bit when I get behind the desk. Over here, of course, I have my MacBook charger. And then over here, these are just some loose chargers for a GoPro or an Android device. This is a little micro USB charger. Uh, moving over here, this is my Bose speakers. They're the, I think they're the uh, quiet or not the quiet comfort, the um, the companion 35s, I believe. They come with one over here, one on the right side as well, and also have a subwoofer underneath, which does pack a punch. I really do like that thing, and I've had it for a couple of years. It really has lasted me a long time. It also has this little dial that lets you mute it, unmute it, and you can change the volume right from there. Now, next up, we have this stand. This is the Tech 21. Uh, the Tech 21 dock, I'm not exactly sure what the exact, or no, it's the 12 South High Rise. I'm sorry. It's the 12 South High Rise. Um, I had my eyes on this for a while and I ended up buying it around $45. I'm not sure what the exact price is now as I have had this thing for a little bit or for a while now. But it's really nice to just be able to plug my phone right in there and just see any notifications pop right up rather than just sitting over on the table. Uh, so moving over again, as you can see right here, we have the Xbox One. This is the day one edition. I am looking to upgrade to the Xbox Slim, but that's pretty much what I play all of my games on. Uh, next up is this monitor stand. I think that it looks awesome, and it really does help me save space so I can put my Xbox underneath of my monitor. I'll try to find that on, on Amazon and throw that in the link for you, or throw that in the description for you guys. Next up is this archive drive. I made a full video on this thing. It's a uh, MyBook 2 terabyte. It's a WD MyBook 2 or 6 terabyte archive drive, so that thing is awesome. I pretty much can store all my files on there. Uh, now, pretty much the biggest thing on my desk is this 21 by 9 ultra wide monitor. I am absolutely in love with this thing. Uh, it's made by Samsung. I think that Samsung makes some of the de some of the best displays. Although LG really has been coming up recently. Uh, but anyway, I went with this Samsung. I actually got this Black Friday last year, and I, I mean, it has it's been treating me really well. It's awesome for playing games. Awesome for editing video. And really, I mean, you don't need two screens if you have an ultra wide. You can easily split the. Uh, you can easily split the real estate between two screens or two windows, two pages on this right here. But I am looking at trying to get a second one of these. Uh, so we'll see what comes within the next couple of months or the next couple of weeks. We'll see what happens. Now moving over to the right, as you can see, we have um, this microphone. This is the Blue Snowball. This is what I use to record. It's actually right behind there. This is the Blue Snowball. This is what I use to record my audio. It's super cheap and it's super good sound quality. I would recommend it to anyone who is just getting started with YouTube. Now to light this whole thing, I'm using these like cheap LED, um, I'm not really sure what they are. They're LED clamp lights. They're really awesome. They provide so much light on my desk. I'll throw the link to that in the description as well. They're only 25 bucks. They're a huge steal, and I love the even light that it produces rather than just having one single light. And with it being a clamp, it also doesn't take any room up on the tabletop. It just kind of like takes up this much room, so it's perfect. Now, moving over here, I'll show you guys what's in my drawers. I'm not really sure that there's anything really all too special, but in here, there's just some storage stuff, I guess. Uh, these are some old iPhones. This one doesn't even actually turn on. This thing was busted. Um, just pretty much have my Xbox controllers that I use, as well as uh, some loose memory cards, as well as some cable management stuff. So that's that top drawer. The next drawer is just paperwork. That's some boring stuff. Uh, third drawer down is office stuff, pens, pencils, staplers, everything like that. Anything you might need. Moving down is a sad GoPro collection. I feel like I used to have this whole entire drawer filled. I'm not really sure what happened. Um, I guess a lot of the other camera equipment for my old camera was in here, but again, I'm trying to sell that. So I'm going to have to beef up on this GoPro equipment. Hopefully I can get a GoPro Hero 5 within the next couple of 
months or weeks upcoming. And down here, again, this is just pretty much some Xbox stuff. I used to have a bunch more games, but I've actually gone totally digital. I traded in all of my older games and I bought them digitally, or at least the ones that I play digitally. So this is this can be actually probably turned into something else, but for now, it's some of my old Xbox stuff. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. That's my setup. I really do enjoy it. I really don't have any of the crazy LED stuff. Um, I made this setup before a lot of those LED strip, uh, you know, accent lighting was coming out. So this is pretty much what I've got right now. And the most atrocious thing ever is all of these cables underneath of there. My OCD is like absolutely killing me. And as you can see, a weak attempt at cable management with this little red zip tie thing. I used to have all these cables nice and managed, but moving stuff back and forth to and from college really has uh, really has messed me up. And right back here is that little USB hub I was telling you about. It's made by Anchor. Uh, you guys really can't even see it. Man, it's dark back here. But I, that pretty much gives me a bunch more USB ports. Uh, now also, again, as I said, an absolute lifesaver. This is a Honeywell heater. This thing is beautiful. You just kick it on and it starts warming you up. I think it's awesome. I love it. As I said, I love being warm. Uh, so anyway, again, that's about it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little room tour as well as this setup tour. Again, I'm going to be always adding to this. And I think it would be cool if I made a series where uh, if I did want to upgrade my setup, I guess you could say, I would buy all the stuff and make it into one awesome video for you guys. So let me know if you guys would like to see that. I think that it's really fun just, you know, having a nice, organized, and clean setup. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely leave a like if you liked and comment down below. Uh, leave a like down below. And also, thank you guys so much for 1,000 subscribers. It's absolutely been an awesome ride, and I can't wait to keep going. But anyway, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace. Oh my